If that Whoa. is not one of Ontario's finest sport fish, then I don't know what is. Yes. You want to see some colors on a brook trout? Look at that painting right there. Oh, baby, baby, baby. That is it right there, dude. Aren't they just the most beautiful things? Absolutely gorgeous. That is my favorite fish, without question. This is why we fish right here. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, plot your paradise, reel them in. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Ontario Canada, in partnership with Destination Ontario. If you were given the ultimate in artistic talent and creativity, along with a paintbrush and a palette of vibrant colors, and someone said to you, hey, can you paint me a crazy colorful fish? Well, the odds are you won't be painting a lake trout or a largemouth bass. I can pretty much guarantee you won't be painting a pike or a muskie either. They just don't have those wild colors that a true artist would desire. You want your creation to look vibrant, right? I'll bet you'd choose a brook trout. To me, it's a no-brainer. That is so, oh. Look at it. Look at that painting right there. Bye bye, buddy. As you can probably tell, today's Fish in Canada show is all about the brook trout. Oh my god. Look at this thing. That is what you call a gorgeous fish. Oh, that is a picture. It's like it's, like it's painted on, eh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. How beautiful is that, man? That's a nasty male right there. That guy real... would beat you up big time. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Since this great species is one in which extensive travel may be involved, we again reiterate the importance of staying within the set COVID-19 protocols when moving from region to region. People from all over the world travel thousands and thousands of miles for that little guy right there. That is gorgeous. The brook trout, or as it's often referred to as the speckle trout, is truly one of God's greatest creations in the animal kingdom. In the brook trout's most muted color phase, it still looks like a painting that normally puts people into a state of amazement. Oh my gosh, just crazy. In fact, some anglers are so taken by this gorgeous creature that they would never keep their cats to enjoy a unique meal. Look at that fish, folks. That is stunning. I'm gonna do this fish the honors of a, a net release. There she goes. <laughs> We're not sure if this is a good thing, or a bad thing, since a small 10 to 12 inch brookie is one of the finest tasting fish on the face of this earth. This is it, I am in heaven and I'm, I'm not ready to stop yet. I'm gonna keep going. Brook trout are native to Eastern North America with the range expanding to the Great Lakes tributaries of the United States, reaching as far south as the Appalachian Mountains. They're also found in Manitoba, throughout Ontario, into Quebec, the Maritime Provinces, and I've even heard BC. The distribution of brook trout around the globe is quite limited in that they can only survive and more importantly spawn in a certain type of water. That said, they can also be found in Europe, Asia, Africa, and South America. Yep, we were surprised at that one too. When talking about brook trout habitat, these little creatures need specific conditions to survive. One of those is water temperature. They can live in waters from the mid 40s Fahrenheit and up to, believe it or not, 70 degrees. However, their preferred temperature is around 55 to 62 Fahrenheit or 13 to 17 Celsius. This is where they thrive. Another equally important factor to consider is the water conditions that brook trout need to spawn in. Flowing water is critical. In most creeks and rivers, that's not a problem. But in lakes, however, that natural needed flow is absent. The only lakes that brook trout can naturally reproduce have upwellings and springs. Look at that. If that is not one of Ontario's finest sport fish, then I don't know what is, because that is just absolutely stunning. And there we go. I got a gorgeous little fish. That is a beautiful brook trout right there, folks. Beautiful brook trout. <laughs> they are quick. Everything they do is fast. Whoa! Oh! Oh! No, he didn't! He spun on me! Oh, oh, oh. Baby! A 
A classic example of a world-class brook trout area is Ontario's Algonquin Park. This iconic destination is Canada's oldest provincial park. It's roughly 7,725 square kilometers and contains over 1,000 named lakes. Of these lakes, 240 of them contain self-sustaining brook trout populations. Algonquin Park is known as the world's largest natural brook trout spawning area. Although my experience there is limited, Ange has made many fishing trips to Algonquin and is living proof that this place is like no other. In fact, Ange had a chance to revisit this magical place and thank God he took me along for a guided tour. Come on, Brookie, jump in there, you see? see? That's, that's typical for up here, right? That's very, cool. yeah? very typical. And every once in a while, a big three or four pounder will sneak into there. Really? Yeah. See, I can't, I can't imagine a speck being three or four pounds. I just have never. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I've never seen it. They are pretty cool. That's awesome, man. Aren't they cool? Good looking fish. They got the square tail. He's got the beautiful spots. There you go, little buddy. Got it. You got there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bigger fish, man. <laughs> Get it, buddy. Uh, <laughs> where's his head? Here you go. Nice one. That's a good brook trout right there. That's nice. Ah, look at him go. <laughs> That's a beauty fish. Dude. That is a beauty. Ooh, they're tough. Oh, and slimy. Slimy. Beautiful fish, dude. <laughs> ah, he's over two pounds, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He's three. Three? He's three. Sweet. I wanted to see a three pounder. He's three. I've been satisfied. Algonquin Park is not the only brook trout destination to investigate for a future fishing trip. Another phenomenal natural brook trout producer is the world famous Lake Nipigon and Nipigon River. The landscape here is very much different from Algonquin Park, and so are the fish. Yes! Look at that speck! <laughs> oh. oh! You want to see some colors on a speckled trout? On a brook trout? That is as nice as it gets right there. If Algonquin is all about numbers, number of lakes, number of portages, and of course, number of fish, then Nipigon is all about size, size of the water, as well as size of the Nipigon strain brook trout. This area has been producing trophy brook trout since the 1800s. Come on. Woo! You came in way too easy. I thought, what's going on for the size of this fish? Whoa! Oh! Oh, no, he didn't. He spun on me. These Nipigon rookies are absolute firecrackers. To fight like this is something you just won't see from any other freshwater fish. I've never seen anything like that. This is going nuts. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna chase him because this water is crazy. He came in that boat so easy. I looked at this and said, wow, you know what? This is a decent sized trout. Like a, Typical Nipigon River, what you'd come for, Nipigon River speck or brook trout. And he came in so easy, I thought, wow, is it because of the water temps? The water temps are just in the low 50s, but these are cold water fish. Oh, 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 baby! Check that out, folks. That is the world famous Nipigon River brook trout or speckle trout. What a gorgeous. Gorgeous, look at the meat, how fat that fish is. I'm gonna put her in the net and release her. <laughs> she wants to stay in the net. In my humble opinion, the brook trout fishery in the Nipigon River is without a doubt a top 10 fishing destination in the entire world. What a, what a fight! Awesome, absolutely awesome. The world record brookie came from the Nipigon River back in July of 1915. That behemoth weighed in at 14 and a half pounds. That record still stands today, over a hundred years later. To get to today's unbelievable speckled trout fishing, I drove north on Highway 400 to Highway 69. I then headed northwest on Highway 17. I stayed on 17 westbound past the town of Nipigon and then turned south on 628 towards the town of Red Rock. I finally reached my destination at the classic Quebec Lodge, which is home base for Nipigon River adventures. I don't know, man. I couldn't get a look at them. Got some red on those fins. That's oh, that's a brookie. That's a nice brookie. Yeah. Whoa, that's nice. a bigot too. That's a bigot. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
Lake Superior is another area where the mighty brook trout can live in its natural environment and more importantly, spawn. We need a speck, we need a speck, we need a speck. Expect a speck. Superior brookies are often referred to as coasters since many of the fish cruise the shoreline or coast of this mighty great lake. If given nice calm conditions, anglers can cast or troll the scenic shorelines looking for that fish of a lifetime. Who what is that? Brookie? I don't know, man. I couldn't get a look at him. It's I silver look at that and it's tail. alive. That's all I know. Got some red on those fins. That's Oh, that's a brookie. That's a nice brookie. He's fighting like a brookie. Yeah, baby. I think that's a square tail, I see. Yep, it oh, is too. Oh, that's It is too. <laughs> still have nail, I think. I love them when they get that red yeah. on those fins, the bright red. Yeah. Maybe you can just bring them over a little bit more. Got it. Whoa, that's a nice. big too. That's a big <laughs> High five! Yeah. That is right what we're coming for, that's right there. That's a coaster. Man. Oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> that is it right there, dude. Nice Isn't job. That's beautiful. Nice job. Lake Superior coasters. <laughs> nice. Okay, buddy. Beautiful. Fishing tactics for brook trout might just surprise you. Yes, on creeks and streams, a perfectly natural presentation like live bait, a tiny spinner or spoon, or a flawlessly presented fly will more often than not get the job done. On bigger waters though, one can add a whole other world of presentations. If we are fishing a big flowing river like the Nipigon, typical light line tactics will work. We've even had success drop shotting for brookies. Often though, finesse goes out the door. Spoons like EGBs and Cleos, number three spinners, and get this, even colorful, bulky hair or feather jigs work extremely well for these ambush predators. In still water like lakes, those spoons and spinners again are tough to beat, but small suspending crankbaits and jerkbaits, ice fishing lures, and even trolling big flies are all killer search baits for brook trout. We prefer light spinning gear with all these baits and present them by either casting or trolling. Another often overlooked area for world-class brook trout fishing is the most northerly portion of Ontario. The Albany and Sutton rivers are perfect examples, however, they're hard to get to. Something a bit more attainable would be a place like Esnagami Lodge. This multi-species lodge is a bit closer to civilization and can put you onto walleye, northern pike, what a beast, and of course, lots of brook trout. Look at that, yeah. ladies and Beautiful. gentlemen, I'm going to show that to the camera right there like that first. It's a beautiful brookie. brookie. Another yeah. one close to the boat. I was sitting there watching, getting my jig all worked up, seeing, so, you know, okay, before we cast, let's get ready here. The first hole, first stop, Essinagami River, right? Yeah, this, this Essinagami is River. And, yeah. uh, and I'm just dropping down there, and boom, I hit a trout, and he got off. And then I just saw Eric do a drift, finish his drift, he cast away up there, finish it off here, and pff, might be the same fish. It's yeah, pretty close to him. Look at that. What a gorgeous yeah, beautiful. looking fish. That is awesome. There you go. Although the speckled trout numbers swim thick in this river, you still need to coax them, especially in frigid water. Now there, talk about no finesse. Oh, beautiful fish. It's a uh, braided, braided line with a spoon. Gorgeous fish, man. This river is stacked with these things. Today we're using small jigs, spinners, and spoons in both subtle colors as well as very bright. Casts upstream are usually best, followed by slowly pulling your bait into and through current breaks and seams. Is that not incredible? It is. Wow. Nice. Those spots, the little blue, look at the yeah. blues on them. Yeah, they're just uh, one of the prettiest fish going. This one wants to get going. Nice. <laughs> Man, this is just the most, this is the most <laughs> fun I've had fishing in a long time, buddy. He's hanging on to tinsel now. There look at that. Look at, yeah, look at the difference, eh? Sometimes they're all kind of a different, different yeah. look to a lot of them. So neat. I wish we would have kept count now on how many fish we got today. Yeah. Uh, we got to be well over two dozen now. Look at that amazing color, folks. How is that for a God's creation? This is why we fish right here. Oh, oh look, look at the at color that. on that Rookie, baby. Man. Oh my God. That's breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, there are many other lakes situated in specific areas throughout the country that harbor brook trout. However, most of these populations are stocked fish. In fact, it's the Algonquin and Nipigon strain brookies that are often stocked into new lakes. Why not pick from the best, right?
One area that challenges all oncomers in the Battle of the Brook Trout is the Algoma region of Ontario. Fisheries biologists have discovered that many, and I mean many, of Algoma's natural lakes are perfect for brook trout stocking. Although the fish may not be able to procreate in many of the non-spring-fed lakes, they sure can grow big. Oh, oh look, look at the at color that on that rookie, baby! Man. Oh my God! That's breathtaking! <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful there fish! There we go! Nice look work, Johnny! My man! <laughs> <laughs> That's a real chunky fish, oh, this dude. Is, yeah. Oh, look, look at the look, look at, at the thickness. Look at the my football. God. Now is that a male or a female? That's a male. That's a big male. Eh? That's a big male. Look at that. Oh, my God, that is spectacular, man. Dreams are made of that, my oh, friend. Oh yeah. What a brute. What a brute. <sighs> wow. Slime ya. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That thing is insane. Wow. Oh, that's a nice brookie. Now, he doesn't have as much blue in those spots as some of the smaller fish, but wow. Aren't they just the most beautiful things? Absolutely gorgeous. That is my favorite fish, without question. They are something, and they are an apex predator, make no mistake about it. As pretty as that fish is, that is the most vicious predator in these waters, without question. Nothing even close to them. Fantastic. You know, if you ever get a chance to get out to some of these lodges that offer more than just a, a main camp experience, uh, whether it's, you know, a fly out to a, a small remote little cabin on a lake or just being able to take day trips and, and into some of these tiny little ponds and lakes, man, I'll tell you, they are well worth it. Just the experience of catching a fish in this environment, in this setting, it'll alter you for sure. It's fantastic. So there you have it, the fish that I would have chosen to paint as an artist. Their look is amazing and their fight is astounding. Here's a little recap of what we talked about today. If you're looking to catch a natural beauty in a natural beautiful location, a trip to Algonquin Park for brook trout is a must. That's awesome, man. Aren't they cool? Look at the fish. If you're looking for the monster brookie of a lifetime, there's no better place on this earth than Lake Nipigon and the Nipigon River. That is the world famous Nipigon River brook trout or speckled trout. If you want to add a coaster to your bucket list, then Lake Superior is your only choice. That is it right there, dude. And lastly, if you don't mind the idea of fishing for stock specks, Ontario's Algoma region will not disappoint. Absolutely gorgeous. And finally, please remember to take this pandemic seriously. We as anglers can and should set an example that others can look up to and emulate. Let's set the bar. Let's be proactive. Let's be safe. This hotspot is on Roothouse Lake. The waypoint on your screen will get you right there. The best way of fishing a structure like this is slow trolling, drifting, anchoring, or what I did throughout the day, easing your way using a trolling motor and wind combination to fan cast the shoreline. For trolling, try spoons, spinners, or hard body baits like crankbaits and minnow baits. When casting, try spinners, EGB spoons, jigs, and don't forget drop shotting a small bait like a Yamamoto shad shaped worm. Today's outstanding trophy brook trout fishing took place at Blue Fox Camp in Algoma region of Ontario. To get there, I first took Highway 400 north to Highway 69. I next turned northwest on Highway 17 at Sudbury. I finally turned north on Air Service Road in Algoma Mills and ended up at Lozon Aviation Air Base. From there, it was a short 15-20 minute flight to Blue Fox Camp. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, 
dominate the waters. Garmin, plot your paradise, reel him in. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Ontario Canada, in partnership with Destination Ontario. Closed captioning for this episode was brought to you by FishingCanada.com, the gateway to your next fishing adventure.